Matt, I don't know what Jirel's injury situation is, but um, I guess you can start there. But but also along with that, how do you get the offense and get the rushing game going and the, you know the offense also? Well, you know, I, it, first of all, with Jirel, I, I you know got dinged up. Obviously, wasn't a hundred percent. You know went in and was able to do some pass protection things towards you know after that injury um but the ability to run the football just couldn't do it after that um you know i think those things are things we're going to have to continue to pound the way at you know we we thought we had a really good plan coming in um obviously the inconsistency of that plan continues to show up and you know, man, I'm, I'm equally a part of that as anybody. So, you know, I, I don't feel like we're totally off kilter. It's just our inconsistencies. And, and man, we have to be right on right now to be consistent. And, and we're not. You know, there's inconsistencies in some of the things that, that are going on. Um, I think I'll have a better answer for that on Tuesday as we, we meet. Um, but it's not good enough, obviously. And it showed up again tonight. When you say the inconsistency of the plan, what do you mean? Well, I, I more inconsistency, you know, I think of the whole operation. You know, you got we've got some false starts again in some critical moments. Um, you know, you've got, you know, just young players playing that are playing inconsistent at times. And, you know, I think we all those things coming together, you know, create a, a inconsistent offense. And I think it's what we're seeing, you know. Um, you still see the, the A players making some A plays. But man, we're we're not as consistent as we need to be to win football games right now. Do you feel like they're a ways away from being where you Boy, want I, them to I, be? I don't, and I, I really haven't the last couple of weeks. You know, I, I think the, you know, Randy makes a great point in terms of we're inconsistent in the running game. You know, I think this is the third week in a row that we've lost the rushing battle in, in the football game. Um, you know, it's a situation for us where putting that whole thing together is going to be critical for our success. And right now, it's man, it's we get in a flow and then we get out of a flow and it's you know it's it's the word is inconsistency and it's not good enough right now I think over the last two weeks X has been targeted 35 times I don't know if anybody else is more than maybe 15 I mean do you do you feel like there needs to be a way to find more balance there just because I mean obviously people are putting a lot of attention towards him yeah you know and 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 they are, and what I would say is, man, he's still, man, he's he's putting himself and putting us in position to make big plays too. So, you know, I, I don't, we have great faith in, in the Sean's and the Jalen's and Demetri's. You know, it's not a matter of a one-man show out there. But, you know, I, I, I think, again, a bigger piece of it is the consistency of a running game right now is with the ability to open up everything for everybody else. And, you know, so I, I think, you know, you bring a good point, but I, I don't, I still think that you want the ball in your best player's hands and we got to find ways to put the ball in our best player's hands and we are doing that. Um, so I, I think from that standpoint of it, you know, you, we're always going to continue to find ways to put the ball in his hands. Man, you win the turnover battle, hold a good offense of 10 points. If I told you that before the game, would you think, okay, we're we're coming out with this one? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I think for, for us, the things that we felt like we needed to do to win the football game, you know, uh, you know, again, I feel very confident that we're there. And, and again, I felt like, you know, man, we did some of that last week. And, you know, I, we did some of that the week before. And so that's why from our end of it, uh, you know, you look at it, obviously it's frustrating. And, you know, it's, I told our kids in, in life, Man, winners do lose, but losers hide. I'm not hiding from it. I don't think any of us are hiding from it. We've got a great staff. Um, you know, we feel like we've got a really good football team, and we're, we're not miles away, we're inches away. And, you know, I think that's the hard thing when you're dealing with 18 to 22 year olds or anybody in life. You know, you get, man, you get right there, and, you know, it's easy to, you didn't get the result that you wanted, and it's easy to bag it. And so, you know, I, I think, again, this will be a great test to, you know, the locker room, the leadership. Um, but, you know, as I said, what gives me great confidence in our football team is the play Anthony Johnson made is maybe one of the greatest plays in the history of of this program you know you you talk about you know our, our fan base unfortunately tried to fry an 18 year old kicker last week and our 18 year old kicker responded and went three for three tonight in a big time situation so man there's a lot of things we can sit here we didn't win the football game you can put as much of that on me i sit in the offensive room so if you guys want to complain about me 
put it on me. Um, but the reality of it is, you know, I still see a lot of really great, great growth and a great things happening on this team. You know, we're, we're a couple of inches away here or there that we're not making some of the plays that we need to make to win the game. And I, I, it's still a process. You know, it's a, it's a journey with this young team. And, you know, again, I, I believe in the players and I believe in who we are and I believe in what we're about. I was just going to ask about about Jace. You touched, you hit on it right there. But what was his what was his week like? Um, you know, yeah. And, and after he kicked these first, after I, he made his first one, I thought I thought he was going to get hurt on the sidelines. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, teammates I just, were mobbing him. Yeah, because I, I think, man, our teammates. You're finally at a program where now you've been here seven years, and the program stood up for him. Man, are some of our best players. There had to be 20 former players that called and asked for for Jace's phone number last week. You know, I mean, that's what you hope to build. I think what we have is fortunate. And you know, I thought, you know, what what was Jace's week? I would tell you, it's what I've seen every week. Man, the kid came back to work. He went to work, and you know, I, I think I said this on I don't know it was a radio show or on our press conference on Tuesday. Like, man, the kid's a football player. You know. I I think he's got some of that moxie. He's a kid that's done a lot of great things in his career already. So, you know, couldn't be prouder of him. Really, really proud of his response. But, yeah, I thought he had a great game today. Yeah, I think we'll find out. I, I don't think it's it's something that is um, globally significant. But, again, we'll, we'll, we'll find out a little bit more as we get into tomorrow. Thank you. Jeez, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.